Quiere ser. I don't have it. What up, Space Man? What you doing? We have the WWSU 106.9 FM. About to do a little interview. Hey, they got the lights, bro. What's up, man? Live at the WWSU. So through the link, they can send messages and like requests and stuff. Wow. So if you want to tell them to like send you guys messages, you can do that. It'll pop up on the screen. Alright, they just got to go to Wright State Radio. Yeah, just Google Wright State Radio, and you'll get like a uh, website will pop up. Yeah, I just want to know like what got you guys into music. What made you want to make music? Well, God, I feel like we all kind of individually started making music. Like got into music. Through a mutual friend, I met Slump, and as soon as Slump and I, he had already rapped, and he for real taught me how to rap. Sue and I went to school, yeah. and Jesse and I worked together at Penn Station, so we all met each other, and Slump came up with the name Casual Crooks. I drew the logo, because I always knew I wanted something bigger than myself, like Tyler the Creator had Odd Future, ASAP Rocky had ASAP Mob, so I always wanted like a brand to be able to push. Okay. Right. Oh, pause. I want to set it up. Oh, yeah, yeah, nope. But what was the question again? Shit. What? How did you get into so, music? What made like you get into music? Yep. What made me get into music? Uh, I came up writing a lot. My mom was an English teacher, so I kind of feel like just naturally came up reading a lot mm -hmm. of books. But I feel like that whole English teacher, like, reading, like, vibe definitely had something to do with it. So I was originally writing a lot. Made you more creative. Yeah, especially just with words and writing mm -hmm. and things like, similar to that. And then just sure enough, I think it's just like part of our generation's culture that just like slowly turned into hip hop. Mm -hmm. Because I had done like poetry slams before oh, and really? things like that. So over the years, just kind of turned into making music and yeah. Yeah, and a lot of, we do a lot of stuff too to get face to face with our fans. Like throwing the shows, like we make them free so anyone can come and give away like a lot of free clothes and like our music. You know, like it's free now everywhere. And like I feel like the love is what we have with our fan base versus like a lot of people that might. Because even though social media is like where we post our stuff, like. It's a lot of real love. Like yeah. Jesse was just saying today, like three people recognized him just because of that logo. You know, like so Casual Crooks definitely is starting to, we blew up in Middletown for sure. And we're starting to get bigger in Cincinnati and spread. But like, as a small artist, I feel like you can't have that mindset. Like I'm a yeah. small artist to get put in that box. It's like, when I look back at like stuff that we prior did, everything was like smaller and smaller but at the time we saw it, it's like this is the biggest, the biggest thing stuff, yeah. it's like so you just got to keep going you can't put yourself in a box it's like the small artist today is the next major tomorrow because with social media and like the internet like we saw how slim jesus blew up overnight with one video lil xan i straight saw him blow up right. following him through stephen cannon and it's like stephen cannon blow up. Hey, uh, man, this young Sue. I don't know if you can read. That says WWSU 106.9 FM. We just tuned in. We just did an interview. You can see my guys right here. Hey, and just know we working. We working. Every single person we get around can't deny the energy. Yeah, it's there. It's there. We're doing it. Everybody, everybody that talks to us, and it's just not a coincidence that they feel it. That we have a lot of people that say they they can feel it. Yeah, right? for real. Let's make clean versions of our shit and get it and get it to her for real. Laundry day. Laundry yeah. Day. Needs to be she said needs to there was run. a lot of people requesting that, right but she wish she couldn't play because it's dirty. Damn. Hey, we out here dirty like my fucking ass. <laughs> <laughs> We're definitely we about to blow up. Yeah. Where are we? You would think we're not even from Ohio. 
Dude, I dumped it. Dude, those look just like the, the, uh, uh, the Yeezys. Bro, them are fire, though. It's, it's, it's not even like are we in date? We're in Dayton still though for sure. Fairfield, okay. Also, we're damn nearby uh um Jungle Gyms. Yeah, it's like I just wanna what do we see here? Hey look, we came here specifically for some Chick-fil-A. We're here specifically for the Chick-fil-A. Uh I'm coming here, I'm gonna tell y'all right now, I'm gonna get a spicy chicken sandwich deluxe meal. I'm gonna get the meal even though I'm not gonna eat the fries. I don't know why I do that. I set myself up. I lose. I make myself lose money. What's up, man? How you doing? Good. 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 Uh, no, we're just looking for right now. All right. Yeah, there it is. See. <laughs> hey, they lame for not having like. I mean, I guess it has. Blonde, beautiful. It's like where my thick girls at? I, I like thick girls, bro. I can only, I, bro. I couldn't. I don't picture myself hitting a skinny girl ever again in my life. I'm talking. What if we got one of these shirts for the stove just to put on, like, while we recording or something? <laughs> hey, for real, I be seeing Thug was doing that. Yeah. Hey, these hard right here. We straight need. Uh, we need Chick Fil A right there. Alright, tell me how that is. It's cold, bro. It ain't good. Don't do that. I'm gonna drop on the floor because I ain't even like it. Are you serious? Like Damn. I dead ass. I want I want the spicy chicken sandwich. What you getting, cuz? I ain't never really really ate here like that. Are you serious? Yeah. Hey, I'm telling you a number two, cuz. I'm telling you, that's their specialty. This is that's literally the spicy chickens are their specialty. You think so? Yeah, this is a nice Christian establishment. They really are. They feel the people, bro. Alright, bro. We got a lot of food, a lot of good food. Yeah. What okay. are you filming for? Just a vlog. We did like an interview today and it's like Are you a, with the news? Huh? Are you with the news? No. Not at all. Well, kind of like our job. Don't point at me. <laughs> Why not? Because you <laughs> Why? Because you're not even supposed to be filming in the Nah, we cool. Look, we out here right now, Chick-fil-A. <laughs> hey, we out here. As you see, we got a little detour because the security guard wanted to come over here. She didn't want to talk to the camera, but we put it up on there. She got very awkward, but it's okay because everybody's awkward. Everybody. Hey, y'all, this man right here tripping. What you just say? I'm saying Chick-fil-A spicy chicken sandwich is not better than the spicy Asiago glove. Wings. Hey y'all, this hey, man. Not now, but it's quality. It's not. This is a good quality piece of chicken. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying it ain't better. <laughs> take a take another bite. I'm. Let me get. Wait. Wait a second. Wait a second. It's moist. It's moist. Wow. Wow. It just comes right off. It falls right off. I was just informed that your show today had the most listeners on any show this week. It was great. Thanks again. Shout out to Right State. Shout out to Destiny. You already know Casual Crew. How you doing? We already leaving. 